Hi guys, it's Kate here from dudehack.com and today we're going through 11 Bumble bio mistakes to avoid. So, today's video is going to be slightly different to what you're used to if you are a regular viewer. Today is a little preview of Dude Hack's upcoming dating course, which you may have heard me mention in previous videos. The dating course is coming up very, very soon, and this is essentially a little sneak peek into what you can expect. Although I will be running through things you can find in the course, the actual course itself is a lot more in depth with more examples and will break things down much clearer. So make sure you check it out in the description box below if it is available by the time you but until then, let's get into 11 Bumble bio mistakes to avoid. Starting at number one, don't brag. Transparent bragging in your bio is a huge red flag for women who can't be bothered to date another douchebag. What exactly are you trying to prove? An arrogant bio sends the signal that you're overcompensating for something else. Number two, don't be sleazy. Sleazy bios send women running, even the ones who are looking for something casual. We're all in favor of some cheeky innuendos here and there, but pure caveman sleaze is a total turn off. We'll see how to balance this in practice in the next section. Three, don't be demanding. It's fine if you have your preferences, but listing the traits you demand in a partner is seriously off-putting and screams high standards and high maintenance. Tailor your bio to appeal to the perfect woman and don't make demands. Four, don't exude insecurity. It's no secret that women love confidence, so why are so many bios still giving off an insecure vibe? It's because insecurity can manifest in many ways, from humble bragging about your high IQ to complaining that women don't message first. Eradicate that insecurity from your bio. Now, just before we jump into number five, if you are liking this video so far, make sure you give it a like and even hit that subscribe button. And if you are getting a little bit of value out of this so far, Dude Hacks dating course may truly be for you. So make sure you check it out in the description box below if it is available by the time you watch this. Number five don't go overboard. This is online dating we're talking about, the land of the swipes. Nobody has time to read a wall of text, so keep your bio simple and to the point. Now, if that seems confusing at all, just remember to check out the description below for the course, as the course will go into way more depth with examples than what I am now. Six, on the contrary to number five, don't be low effort either. Keeping your character count under control is one thing, but your bio has to stand out for you to hit it off. Seven, don't be a social media legend. Don't give a potential match the impression that you're just here for the follows. A killer bio will stand out on its own. No need for a social media leg up. Eight, don't say you're just here for fun. I'm not here to judge you, but the statistics show that only a minority of women on dating apps are explicitly looking for something casual. Anything can happen once the sparks fly after a match, so don't put the majority of women off with the fun word. Nine. Don't be cynical. We've all had our fair share of bad experience with online dating, but it's time to put that behind you. You're too young to be coming off bitter and twisted in your bio, so put the cynicism to the side. Number 10, don't present your bio like a grocery list. College grad, actuary, guitar player, traveler, dreamer, Oh my God, I've already told you that your bio isn't the best place for your match to get to know the real you. There will be plenty of time for that later. If you feel like you have to tell your potential matches some factual information, don't send your reader to the grocery store. 11, don't get banned. Getting kicked off a dating app isn't going to help your chances, is it? Steer clear of offensive territory in your jokes. Race and religion are off limits. Keep your bio respectful, otherwise you may end up getting reported. 
And there we have it guys, 11 Bumble Bio mistakes to avoid. And just remember, if things aren't completely clear, this is just a really brief preview. The Dude Hack course itself is a lot more in depth and explains things a lot clearer. But if you did get a lot of value after this and would like to take things to the next level, Dude Hack's course may be for you. So check it out in the description box below if it is available by the time you view this. And that's all for today, guys. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you did like this video, I'll see you next time. Bye.